Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day. As always, quick video that I probably should have had out earlier this year, but it's 2017 now. Everyone's making the resolutions. I'm doing the same as well. So that's what this video is about. What are your financial goals or your personal finance goals for 2017? Goals are a great thing to have in your personal life, regardless of what it is that you're working toward, whether it's exercise or you want to read more books or you want to travel, or in this case, you know, when it comes to your personal finance, goals are a wonderful tool to have because you have something to work towards. All right, it doesn't matter what it is, even when it comes to personal finance, right? You know, you could be working on saving more money, or you want to build up your credit score, or you want to pay off some debt that you've really been trying to get rid of for a while, or you want to just refinance your house because you know you can get a better interest rate on it. Whatever it may be, have a goal work towards something and hold yourself accountable right now i want to share with you my two goals for this year and i have two because one is for me personally and the other is for my channel and for you guys so number one my personal goal is to keep my extra spending under 200 dollars a month and that may not seem like a very big deal but you know, I've always appreciated kind of like minimalism and minimalists who need less so they can kind of maximize what it is they actually care about. So that's what I want to try and do this year. You know, keep my spending down and you know, I still want to enjoy life and have fun, but that doesn't mean I have to spend a lot in the process. So I want to keep my expenditures down and want to keep my motivation high. Okay, so that's my personal finance goal in 2017. Now my goal for the channel is a little bit different. Now last year I had made a goal that I want to help my viewers save $100,000 in interest from loan debt. Okay, and quite honestly I did not hit that goal or at least I don't have enough evidence to support that I did hit the goal. So I want to kind of get ready for round two. And I know I can get this done and I think goals, you know, you, you always have to increase them a little bit. And here's the goal for this year. I want to help you guys save $150,000 in interest off of loans uh, and loan debt. Now why do I say that specifically, loan debt? And the, the real reason is I freaking hate debt. I hate what it does to people, I hate what it does to this country, I hate what it does to this world, right? This idea of I need to finance everything forever and ever. Like debt and, and loans are kind of like this burdensome leech on you that's just feeding off of you and making some other company rich, right? So I don't really like debt. You know, I've worked for a financial institution for eight and a half years. I know there's ways of at least structuring your debt in a better way to where you were paying less Therefore, the other companies are getting less as well. So that's what I want to do for you guys. $150,000 in interest saved for you guys. Now, to do that, I'm going to need three things from you. And I know that's really selfish, asking for three things when most people should just ask for one. But I'm sorry. I'm being selfish. I need three things from you guys. Number one. For this video, comment below what your goals are for this year, or at least what your personal finance goals are for this year. Again, maybe it's credit related. Maybe you're paying off something early. Maybe you're opening up that college savings account for your child and you're, you're, you've been meaning to do it for a while. Who cares what it is? The point is you're getting something done. Now number two, I need your help because I don't know who I can help out unless you guys reach out to me. So if you've got credit card debt, if you're trying to work on your credit score, if you've got a car loan situation, whatever the case may be, if you have some sort of loan issue or credit issue or debt issue and you think there's maybe a chance that I can help out, get in touch with me. You know, I know not everyone wants to broadcast their information, so, so email me commonsensemike at gmail.com. You can send me a direct message on YouTube. Whatever you need to do to get in touch, do it because I really, really want to help you guys out. So that's the second thing. Now lastly, what I also need from you guys is to share your story. Share your successes, okay? And, and help share your failures if it helps someone else not make that failure, right? We can all learn from each other. So what I need you guys to do is if you do refinance and you save money, if you pay off a debt earlier than you were supposed to and you save money, if you built up your credit score 100 points, share it, guys. That's what this channel is about, growing a community, helping each other, and making a difference in both our lives when it comes to personal finance and other lives as well because 
that's what we're here for, helping each other. So those are the three things that I need from you guys. I know we can get this done if we work together, but thank you for watching. Have a good day. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you learned something new from it and you were able to strengthen your financial position. I'm going to keep coming out with more videos, so please stay tuned. But go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and have a good day.